Hi and welcome to teachmewp.com, your best WordPress video how-to resource. Today is going to be a quick episode. What I'm going to show you how to do is how to forward a domain. In a previous episode, I moved my website from wordpressvideohowto.com to teachmewp.com and I put in a redirect just in the .ht access file. So if you went to wordpressvideohowto.com, it would automatically take you to teachmewp.com. But what I want to do is I want to cancel the server that that's on because it's costing me an extra $10 a month. So I'm going to do a DNS redirect. What this will do is without a web server, it will just automatically redirect you when you type in wordpressvideohowto.com right to teachmewp.com. So what you want to do if you have a GoDaddy account is log in. And once you're logged in, you want to go under Domains and My Domains. And you want to find the appropriate domain. So here we're going to be working on WordPressVideoHowTo.com. And you'll bring up your details. And what you need to do first is to unlock your domain. So you'll see here Locked. I'm going to change. I'm going to unlock the domain. OK. OK. And then I'm going to wait a minute. Usually it takes 10 to 15 seconds before you can actually make any changes. So once you've unlocked it, you need to go to Forwarding. You'll see here it says Domain is not forwarded. I'm going to click on this. And it's fairly simple. You just need to enable forwarding and type in the full URL of what you're forwarding to. So you do need the HTTP colon slash slash. So I send it to teachmewp.com and you've got two choices, uh, move permanently or move temporarily. In this case it has moved permanently. The nice thing about this is it will also notify search engines so that they'll know to index the new site. Now I'm not going to do any masking but you could do some masking if you wanted. So when you redirect to the new URL it still shows the old URL. In this case I don't want to do that. So I've got it here. I'm going to hit OK. And then I'm going to hit OK again. And when you're done, you do need to go and lock your domain. This is just so that hackers can't make unauthorized changes. So I'm going to go back and lock domains. And OK. And then OK. And we're done. Now it will take a little bit of time before this redirect shows up. Uh, and that amount of time kind of depends on how long you have your update set in DNS. So now if you want to see what happens, if you go to WordPressVideoHowTo.com, you'll see immediately it redirects to TeachMeWP.com. And that's all for today's podcast. If you've noticed, the sound is better quality. I've picked up a new microphone. I've also gotten Apple Final Cut Studio, which should hopefully give me the tools to make better video podcasts. So if you like this podcast, definitely do either visit the website, teachmewp.com, and if you'd like, you can make a donation, either a $3 one-time donation or a $2 monthly recurring donation. Or if you're looking for web hosting, you can use HostGator. Click on the link over here, the WindPower HostGator. If you do it that way, then I do get a small commission, and it lets me pay for new toys to make this podcast better. And that's all for the podcast today. Have a great day.